Speaking of completely ridiculous, unethical things, Obama's ethics panel now gives a thumbs up to testing anthrax vaccines on American babies. This is just despicable. And it's from Mike Adams at Natural News. And he even says he feels obliged to warn us in advance. If you're an evil demon who enjoys the suffering of others, you're going to have a really hard time reading this article. And you, it is, but you need to read it. They're basically going to start using American babies as guinea pigs to test bioweapons, anthrax vaccines, because a presidential ethics panel has now said that that's okay to do. Never mind the fact that when's the last time you saw a baby get an anthrax just down here on Main Street, USA? That Does that just happen all the time? I, I don't think I've ever seen that. This is ridiculous. And, this, and it, they're even saying this is going to be more moral harm for us as a nation and suffering for the children. Who gets anthrax in these ethics? Ethics panels, Mike Adams goes on to say, actually are, of course, stacked with medical industry insiders whose philosophical roots are found in Nazi Germany with IG Farben and Bayer, the company that was involved in grossly inhumane medical experiments on Jewish prisoners, people that were convicted of war crimes, the people behind Zyklon B. And we're just seeing this medical tyranny openly just unfolding everywhere. I actually also read that last year, the American College of Obstetricians and Gynecologists has updated their committee opinion on pregnant women receiving tetanus vaccines. Used to be pregnant women didn't get any vaccines. Now they're saying you can get up to three vaccines while you're pregnant which happens to just so coincidentally be the same vaccine that the World Health Organization has been testing a birth control vaccine on by adding HCG to it, and then it causes women to spontaneously abort their children. So these things are just continuing. It's crazy land, open season medical tyranny just unfolding everywhere, and we will keep you up to date on that. And actually, coming up in the break, I have a news bulletin on some of the crazy new big pharma drugs that are coming out. Pretty much everything now is a disorder, or something they can treat you medically with pharmaceuticals for. It's amazing. They actually even have something called shift work disorder now, that if you work a night job and you're sleepy because of it, you need drugs. Pretty soon you're gonna wake up in the morning and they're gonna say, here, have a prescription. You got up today. I mean, it's amazing. It's insane. I'm Melissa Melton with an InfoWars News Bulletin. Colorful big pharma ads on almost every TV channel urge us all the time to ask our doctor today if a drug is right for us. Products like Avenir's Nudexta, a drug FDA approved for a disorder characterized by involuntary sudden frequent episodes of laughing and or crying. Avenir's website admits the mechanism by which the drug exerts therapeutic effects in patients is unknown. Another drug, Nuvagil, is prescribed for something called shift work disorder, which the drug's website claims is a medical condition that can now be diagnosed and treated by a doctor. Shift work disorder occurs when someone works an overnight job, causing ES, or excessive sleepiness, which is also apparently a disorder now. A warning included at the top of every page of the site claims the drug may cause serious side effects, including serious allergic reactions that may affect parts of your body, such as your liver or blood cells, and may result in hospitalization and be life-threatening. Many pharmaceuticals only tend to mask symptoms while creating other negative side effects. Talk to your doctor. Dizziness upon standing. Or if you have uncontrollable muscle movements, as these could become permanent. Seizures, trouble swallowing, and impaired judgment or motor skills. To have the same cardiovascular warning. Side effects include nausea, dry mouth, and constipation. Or can lead to coma or death. Dizziness or fainting may occur upon standing. Usual changes in mood, behavior, or thoughts of suicide. Of suicide. Of suicide. Of suicide. Making the sick sicker and never really curing the cause. But does everything require a drug now? Like seasonal affective disorder and restless leg syndrome, apparently if you laugh or cry too much, or if you're sleepy because you work overnight, you need pharmaceuticals now because these are officially disorders. The makers of drugs like Nuvagil claim that shift work disorder is a real disorder that is officially authorized to be treated pharmaceutically by a doctor. But how does that happen? As Mike Adams of Natural News has reported, the new Diagnostic and Statistical Manual of Mental Disorders, known as the DSM-5, classifies every human emotion as a mental disorder. To make these classifications, a group of intellectuals get together, look at a group of symptoms, and actually vote a disorder into existence. That's it. So once a disorder is voted an official disorder, then, as former DSM-4 chair Alan Francis says, this wholesale medical imperialization of normality could potentially create tens of millions of innocent bystanders who would be mislabeled as having a mental disorder. And Big Pharma can have its field day creating new medications we all need to buy. Besides being a multi-billion dollar boom for the pharmaceutical industry, 
Is there something more behind the contention that everything now is a medical condition or a mental disorder that now requires pharmaceutical treatment? In Obama's 23 executive orders on gun control, mental health is a prime focus and seemingly a context for disarming the American people. The CDC has been directed to research causes of gun violence, undoubtedly addressing mental health while forgetting to look into the pharmaceuticals that have been shown to cause violence in patients and have been present in the majority of mass shootings in this country. And under Obamacare, doctors can even become spies for the cause, with the ability to ask patients about whether or not they have guns in their homes. So before asking your doctor today if a new drug is right for you, perhaps you should ask yourself how important your Second Amendment rights and your health are. And for more news updates, be sure to go to Infowars.com and sign up for our free podcast on the right side of our homepage.